a friend of the banana. Banana homie. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in from Eat Gore to Eat, aka the Maisonettes here on YouTube. We'll talk more about that later, but today I am being challenged to some Puerto Rican food. We're making Puerto Rican party rice, we're making some tostones, and then we are going to have some adobo fried chicken. So I got all the seasonings, all the things, all the powders, and everything you need, all the ingredients to go ahead and get this three to four piece meal thrown together. Join me. First things first, we gotta go ahead and make our adobo seasoning. So we got three tablespoons garlic. We got one tablespoon onion powder. We got one teaspoon oregano. We got one teaspoon salt. We got half teaspoon pepper. We got one teaspoon paprika. And we spin that up. All right, so that adobo will be for our dredge. We got a cup and a bit of flour here. We got about a half cup cornstarch. And then in goes adobo. And we whisk. All right, brought the big dog out. Food processor is here, but we got to go in with some cilantro because we have to build the base of this dish essentially for this rice. We got tomato, onion, and green pepper going in as well, all pre chopped and ready to ride. And we hit that with a Bill Paxton Helen Hunt twister, baby. Okay, so here we have it. Giving me low key uh, halfway between salsa verde and a chimichurri vibe. All right, we gotta cook off some boneless pork rib here. Flame up pretty high, lots of oil in the pan. We need that for a good amount of fat in this dish. All right, pork's going in. All right, work them around. Got a little browning on there. That's what I'm looking for. Carcinogenic brown. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so into this goes this. Cook this off for a little bit together. Okay, more appropriate pot size. Okay, into this mix. Can of pigeon peas. Maybe half a cup of olives. Adobo. Couple tablespoon. We got the saison con culantro. Two pack shakur. Just gonna hit it with a little bit of tomato sauce. I'm going with like a cup of veggie broth, a couple cups of rice, and another couple cups of water. A little stir, see where we're at. So we get that to like a rolling, bubbling simmer, and we let that ride until the rice soaks everything up and we get a nice rice dish. Okay, I love dipping my fried chicken in sauces. We all know this. And uh, I didn't know whether or not having a sauce on this fried chicken was maybe blasphemy to the culture or not, but I hit Gorda up and she says, this generation is eating everything with mayo chup. So mayo ketchup. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a little homemade mayo ketchup. So mayo, ketchup, onion powder, garlic powder, fresh garlic, squeeze of lemon, mini whisk put it on speed cycle spin cycle you know what i mean okay we gotta make tostones these are the only platanos i could find they are not the they're pretty ripe kind of deal so i don't know how well they'll work but this is all i could find near me i think it works better for these if they are less ripe more hard see how these are in terms of softness eh. Gonna cut some chunks, just like that. Okay, so I got this heat on a very mild medium. You don't wanna fry these too hard right off top. Just wanna golden them up. Don't wanna burn them, that's for sure. Okay, these are looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and pull them off here and we're gonna squish them out. All right, let's go ahead and smoosh these out. So I'm just gonna parchment one, parchment two, and I don't have a traditional smusher, but I'm just gonna take this bowl with a nice flat bottom, get it in the center, and commit. Go a little less harsh on this one. 
There we go. All right, time to go back into this oil now at a little bit of higher temp, but not that much higher. Get them all in. All right, a couple minutes deep on each side here. I think we're looking pretty solid. A little bit of salt to finish. Okay, fried chicken time. Let's go ahead and dredge up this chicken that I've had marinating for a day and a half about in buttermilk and a little bit of brine. Pack it in. It's okay, let them bump up against each other. Sometimes that makes nice nooks and crannies and pockets and chunks and clunks that otherwise you wouldn't get if you did it individually all right let's go ahead and fry these guys off oils at about 325 330 everybody in all right adobo fried chicken coming in hot 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 fresh out the fryer I'm gonna let that rest and set up for like 10 minutes all right let's go ahead and plate this so first up i will admit I 100% kind of goofed the rice. I made myself a Puerto Rican party rice risotto <laughs> without even trying. Basically too much moisture, too much liquid, kind of compromised the grain of the rice. It's a bit sludgy, but all the flavors are there. It is delicious. I have tasted it and it's tasting really, really good. So we got our pieces of pork in there as you can see. Okay, spindle maneuver. Go ahead and lay down our tostones. These came out really, really good. Extremely happy with the tostones. And of course, we have to have our fried chicken. Also came out real, real good in my opinion. Pretty nice. In the words of Larry David, pretty, pretty good. So there we have it. Got the party rice, got the adobo seasoned flavor fried chicken, and we have the Tostones. Now let's get to eating. Yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Welcome to today's video. Off top, big shout out to Eat Gore to Eat and also her mother, uh, Mama Maisonette. You can check them out actually on YouTube as well. There's a bit of a story behind it as to how we became connected. But uh, basically, they started their own channel, her mom and her, and they just get down with. Uh, I think a lot of like their kind of heritage foods and, and you know other foods, but anyways, they just have camera banter and they eat and appreciate food. Uh, she also has a pretty poppin' Instagram, something over 20K, 22K, something like that. So I'm jealous of that, but uh, yeah, she's, she cooks her ass off and she's got recipes on recipes and she's got like a cookbook and stuff or at least one coming out, I think. Anyhow, enough of all that. She challenged me to uh, basically a plate of some of her like heritage dishes. So uh, a couple things new here for me. Of course, I've had fried chicken before in my life, which is the first thing I'm going to start with. Uh, going to disappoint y'all. I'm just going with an H2O today, no pour up. So just take a little clean water sip and get into this plate of food. I immediately want a piece of chicken. That's just where my head is at right now so nice and crompche didn't get a complete full seal some places kind of you know had a few little mishaps little not burnt per se but you know what i mean and uh i reached out to her and said is there any sort of sauce i can put on this and she said make a mayo chop right so that's what i did and that's what we'll do and see how it is okay Beautifully cooked. Yeah, <laughs> beautifully cooked. Like I had said, I let this brine and buttermilk and some uh, some pickle juice. So she's good and tender. Quite garlicky. With that adobo seasoning. I looked for uh, a shelf made brand. 
Goya or otherwise. Couldn't find. So we whip it ourselves. There's definitely a few different renditions from what I uh, learned in my educational purposes. But this one seemed the most traditional. Okay, so a fried plantain. Personally, never made them, never had one. Didn't have the uh, professional smasher, but I think uh, the grannies of the world, the old school, the grandmamas, they probably didn't use a professional either. They probably just used like a cup. So let's try this. I put these back in the my toaster oven for a bit. Just to make them hot again. Nice and thin. So basically, a friend of the banana. Banana homie. Not as sweet. I'm certainly glad that I salted them, making, making it more flavorful. I want to say that it makes me want to have, I want something with it. I want like, I know this isn't the right sauce to dip it in, but. I want something with it. I don't know what I want. Maybe almost like a, like a honey hot sauce. I think that would work good with it. Honey hot sauce. I feel like in the, their straight up form, they're just lacking. That flavor, you know? Okay. The party rice that I goofed. Definitely put... I don't know what I did wrong, to be honest. Just too much liquid. Maybe there's too much fat in there. Come on. Got a nice piece of pork in this one. But uh, the flavors. Are extremely on point. Very delicious. I'm not gonna lie. Secretly low key for the use of a, a mukbang. A stickier rice works better because I can just do this. And not have it fall everywhere. Justifications. But also, I, I kind of like sludgy rice. I love risotto. <laughs> I love it when it all goes down. In an easy clump bite. Let's take this for a test drive. Not too different. Mm. Got the olive in there. I love the olive bites. <clears throat> I for sure thought 
that uh, this was going to freak me right out because I don't do cilantro very well. But what I've noticed in this is the flavor is there. It's quite prominent, but in its like... blended out cooked form incorporated amongst other flavors it's not really that offensive on my palate so while i thought i'd have to choke this down i don't very enjoyable But yeah, big shout out Mama Maisonette. This one's for you as well. I'm pretty sure uh, Gorda told me that her mom had no idea what like mukbangs were and that she found my channel, I think, or I was one of the first that she found. And then she was like, her mom was like, that seems kind of fun. I think I'll do that. So she started, she started her own channel. So I think I was a bit of a catalyst for her. And uh, yeah. That's that. Randomly started talking with Gorda on Instagram. She messaged me something or other, and then we've just been chatting ever since. Industry stuff. Trade secrets. Cooking techniques. Her telling me about her social media food life dramas. <laughs> that rocketed her to some recognition. Isn't that how that's funny how that works? Pun intended, but the more you stir the pot <laughs> in the social media game, the more shit bubbles up and the more people are like... Oh, what's going on over here? Let's pay attention to that. We are a society driven by the drama. If it bleeds, it leads. Are you not entertained? Right? That's what Russell Crowe was trying to get across. Which basically all boils down to, <laughs> we're all bored. Just another distraction to make us be like, all right, I guess like life's worth sticking around for still <laughs> as long as there's this going on and I can just like lose myself in that and then like get involved and just be like, <laughs> have my opinion. I think that's what it boils down to is just complete existential boredom and engaging with something that momentarily gives you some sort of purpose like your opinion matters now for 20 minutes or a day then next week get some new crazy thing right I understand it though. 
it's fun to get lost in the sauce like that. Not overthink the shit too much and just get like, I don't know, just kind of, kind of get riled up. Personally, I think it's it's pointless, but it is fun. I understand that. On a side note, I have so much rice that I have no idea what I'm going to do with, do with now. Like family size pot. So, see what happens. I don't know what to do with it. I wish I could just go give it to some people out on the street or something. Somebody who's going to use it. My, my appetite's hard up today too. Like, I'm not excessively hungry. I don't know why. I haven't eaten since like a long time ago, but I don't know, just one of those days. super starving well, I hope I did it justice I put in my best foot forward with everything I think mostly it came out pretty good in terms of everything pre being presented and flavor wise but my technique on the rice was certainly off and I kind of just eyeballed the measurements I should have probably truly measured but I thought I could risk it for the biscuit Turns out that was untrue. Um, something I'll have to work on and perfect because that just didn't come out as traditionally as it should have. So anyways, once again, thank you, Gorda. Thank you, Mama Maze on that. And uh, to everybody watching, their links will be pinned in the comments of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.